Clay Art Center was where I began my independent work. When I arrived at the Clay Art Center, I was absolutely flabbergasted. I was, I fell in love immediately. At the beginning, the mission statement of Catherine Choi and Henry Okamoto, it was an open studio. It was focused on clay art. My teacher said to me, why don't you go to the Clay Art Center for a year, work there, and then reapply and see if there are any jobs. And I just walked in the back door and uh, I said, do you need any help around here? I mean, I'd like to work in clay. And He said, yeah, we answer the phone. And then he walked away. So instead of working there for just a year, I worked there for eight glorious years. It's important for the Clay Art Center to play this, this, this role of bringing people together from all different backgrounds uh, and geographic places. Where else can you go uh, to do clay in such an atmosphere with a beautiful studio? You're in between New York City and Boston. You know, we used to take the train to, to New York all the time to see art. It's, it's terrific. And the Clay Art Center is really one of these great places where people can go and enjoy clay on all different levels. Clay Art is a place where humanity meets across all barriers of time and place and sensibility. It's about touch, about the touch of the, the touch with the Earth's minerals and its totally beyond words when it's really working. But I can't, I can't picture my past or my present without the Clay Art Center in it. It's so gratifying, you know, just to say, wow, look at it now, you know, terrific. How did Clay Art Center impact my development as an artist? It was amazing. I've been involved with the Clay Art Center for many, many years. In fact, I bought my first wheel uh, from Henry back in the early 70s. Art gives us a way of seeing things that is perhaps new even to us when we see the outcome. And I would say that every time the kiln is open and I see something that comes out that I made, it's a little bit of a surprise. It's great when it happens in a community like Clay Art Center, which then helps you think about what you did, why you did it, how it might be different, and can celebrate that success or help with whatever failure uh, and be supportive. When I think about clay, I think about it as being a very fundamental medium. It's always been used as a functional uh, source, but the Clay Art Center has elevated that to a fine art. I'm a believer and supporter of the arts programs. Clay Art Center has a great impact on the community. It helps the children get involved with the arts. Time and time again, people say that the most important element of Clay Art Center is its sense of community. And I attribute a great deal of that to the leadership that it's had since being a not-for-profit and even before. It's very exciting to see the work that the Clay Art Center is doing and to get that participation from the teens and adults in our community. When I think about the importance of the arts, um, I always come back to the fact that they are the food for the soul. Our programs for community, uh, our programs in the schools locally, our programs which bring people here on scholarship are really a very, very important part of what we do. And it's an important part of why we raise money every year so that those who can't pay full freight or can't pay anything can also benefit. But I recall as a teenager uh, going there and to dances. It was quite a place. It was the place to go. So that building's come a long way because it seems that it's still the place to go. The Clay Art Center has been around for 60 years. It'll be around for another 60 years teaching and bringing this form of expression to the community.